So this video is going to be the last in the series of the Back to Basics. It's just a series of five videos. If you haven't watched the other four, feel free to go ahead and do so. This uh, version of FreeCAD, I'm in 0 0.20.2. I haven't upgraded to the, the um, development release yet. I'm going to do that after this video. So after this one, all the new ones will be in the latest development version, getting ready for the new release. So what are we going to do in this video? In this video, we're going to cover a couple of things for housekeeping, basically, in FreeCAD. I see a bunch of people asking me questions about how to move things around in FreeCAD, and so that's what I'm going to cover right here. So first thing I'm going to do, start a new file. You can put a part in, put a body in. I'm going to switch back to this model tab so you can see what I've got here. And then I'm going to create a sketch and just do something on the XY plane. And the sketch is not important at all, so I'm just going to just do a square and close it. Okay, now you can see I have a part, a body, and a sketch. One thing I've seen happen is when people have a part and they start a new body, and because I made that part, I toggled it from being active to inactive, this body isn't inside this part. So now if I want to put it back inside that part, I can literally pick it up, drop it on the part, and now it's inside the part. So to make sure new bodies are always inside the part, I want to right-click, toggle active part, you can double click it as well, make it active. Now if I create a new body, that one's automatically inside that part. Okay, so the next thing is if I take my sketch inside this body and I pad it, I immediately get I cannot use selected object. Selected object must belong to the active body. Consider using a shape binder, basic feature, or some other uh, reference to external geometry in a body. Now that's not very informative. Basically what's happened is my active body is this new one that I put in. My sketch is here. What I really meant to do is to make this body active. And now if I select that sketch and make a pad, I can make the pad successfully. Now, let's go back to this body and make that active. Okay. Now, if I have this pad and I want to put a hole in this pad, I can make a sketch on the XY plane. And I'm going to draw where I want my hole to be. I'm just going to do a round hole just because. Close it. And now, take my pad, take my sketch, and cannot use this command. There's no solid to su subtract from. What's happened is my sketch will automatically get created inside my active body. When that happens, I now have the sketch in the wrong place. So if I want to move the sketch, the sketch has to be inside this body because I want to take make a hole in this pad. Does that make sense? So you can't take a sketch from this body and make a hole in this pad. Now I could create a solid in this body and then do a Boolean subtraction between the two bodies and make that hole. But that's not what I wanted to do. What I really meant to do was to have the sketch inside of this body so I can subtract that hole from this pad. So to do that, I need to take this sketch and I need to move it outside this body. And I can put it into this part. And now this sketch is outside of this body. It's actually in, the, in line with this body. Now I can take the sketch and I can drop it inside this body. And now the sketch is exactly where I want it to be. Now I make this body active. Select that sketch. And now if I say make a hole, I'm going to say through all so you can see it. And I'm going to say symmetrical to plane. 
and say OK. So now I'm able to put that hole through that body because my sketch is inside that body and I moved it from this body into there. So you can, you can move sketches around, um, but yet the one thing that you'll notice, I moved it into the part first. So basically what I did is I brought it out from under this level to this level. Then I moved it into the body. I've found if you try, and I'll try it right now, if we make this the active body again, create a new sketch, and we'll do it in this plane. And this time we'll make a square hole There, so you can see where it is. Let me get a little longer than that so you can see where it cuts through. We'll close that. And now, if I try and take that sketch and just drop it into this body, it says object can only be in a single geo feature group. If I take this sketch and drop it onto this part, it's happy with that. Then I take this sketch and drop it back into that body happy with that. Then I'll toggle the active body and make that one active. And then I can make this hole again. I'm going to say symmetrical and through all. So you can see where it goes. Say OK. And there's my hole. So hopefully that helps to make sense of how you move things around and how you make sure you have the active body, the active part. Again, the same is true if I create another part this part is active this part is not active so if I want to make this part active I can either double click it or right click toggle active part so right click toggle active part and it's literally a toggle on and off I can also move bodies between parts so if I move this to this part now that body is in that part and it will take over with it all its associated um, pieces. I'll move that body. It takes over the body and the sketches and everything that was in this body. So you can move them around and um, move them from part to part as well. But remember, whenever you're working on it, it needs to be active. And that includes you want to make that part active and then you make that body active. And now if you create a sketch, you'll create it in here where you wanted it to be. So hopefully that helps with um, moving things around in the model tree and helps you to not have so many frustrating times when sometimes something happens in an area where you didn't expect it to. Uh, so it's important to keep those um, active bodies and, and uh, items in mind. So if you've enjoyed this series, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. You can subscribe for free, and then you'll get to see all the new videos. I'm going to continue with the free CAD for Beginners series. Uh, I have another one already in process. And hopefully, if you have any uh, requests or comments, you'll leave them below. You give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And feel free to join my Patreon or become a member of this channel. Or you can also uh, make a donation on Coffee or Ko-Fi, depending on how you want to pronounce that. So if you've enjoyed this series and you want to see more in this series, feel free to give me a comment on that too. If there's something that's bugging you that you'd like me to go over, I can certainly do that. But for now, I'm done with the series. Uh, it's everything I wanted to give you. But if you have other things, I'll certainly look at helping you. Thanks.